This is Abigail Gambardella coming to you from the Fitzwater Center at Franklin Pierce University. As a student participating in the Presidency in the Press program, I have had the opportunity to attend some campaign events for the 2020 election. Here are my thoughts on the candidate's environmental policies. In the 2020 elections, many pressing issues need to be addressed by the candidates. Their plans for renewable energy and the funding of it. Currently, candidates Castro, Warren, Bennett, and Hickenlooper all say that they support funding and providing resources so that renewable energy can become more popular in the sense that we use it more. However, Warren and Castro are the only ones who give any form of detailed plan, which still isn't much. Currently, the U.S. uses about 10 billion kilowatt hours per day, which is about 10 billion hours of electricity. In order to produce that type of electricity output, the U.S. on average um, uses about 10 billion kilowatt hours per day. In order to produce so much electricity, you would need about 10 billion pounds of coal. Or, let me see, probably around at minimum 500 barrels of oil which is an insane amount with how our resources are dwindling. Renewable energy would put a stop to us destroying the earth and possibly even help regenerate the hole in the ozone layer. By taking advantage of solar power, wind power, um, the tides, etc. We could produce so much clean energy that we could provide the whole nation with, um, we could run the whole nation without the use of any type of coal. Going back to how the candidates plan to support or provide for, um, renewable energy. A few candidates have in their own towns or states have successfully passed laws or shown that they do support. However, it's a lot different with, with on a national level. You'd have to find the space. You'd have to create jobs in order to do it. It's a bigger deal than the candidates have been making it out to be with all this discussion of Medicare and education. Yes, those are all important things. I'm, don't get me wrong. But we only have one planet. We only have so much resources and we are just burning through them unnecessarily. President Trump chooses to ignore those issues. He chooses to deal with other issues that can wait, in all honesty. We can go another four years with poor um, education. We can go another four years without... Uh, Medicare or Medicaid in less than about a hundred years we're going to lose this planet and then all of us are going to disappear along with it I think it's time that the candidates really begin to think about what we as a nation can do to protect this planet 
and one of those biggest steps is converting from fossil fuels to renewable energy. Most complaints are about too noisy or too much room, et cetera, et cetera. Well, if you look at the lesser, um, lesser known options like wave energy and biomass and tidal energy, yeah, they might take up room, but we have so much coastline. Why can't we every so often build um, a wave generator? It won't affect the ecosystem. We can incorporate it into it. The candidates of 2020 need to provide their plans and show the nation what they really plan to do. To be fully transparent about their goals and their plans to turn America green. Thank you for listening. Once again, this was Abigail Gambardella, and if you want to know more about the Presidency and the Press program, check out more student articles at www.fitzwatercenter.com.